Hello, it's Phil. It is Sunday, May 28th, 2023. It is 6 11 in the morning. It's early. But that's good. That's that's really when you really want to do your workout is when you start your before you start your day, before you fill your stomach full of food. Boy, yesterday I <laughs> Right before I did my workout, I filled my stomach full of chili. Full of chili. I literally had about a half a gallon bowl of chili and four slices of, actually five slices of bread with butter on it. <laughs> and it was okay. It was pretty good. Too much. I eat too much. You know, you, you see something that's coming and you go, ah, a little bit more is always better. <laughs> classic, classic mistake. It was good, but uh, him double straight leg lifts, man. When you got a full stomach, woo, you pay a price, I'll tell you. Anyway, it is the No Damn Choice workout on this wonderful Sunday. It, it looks like it's going to be a okay day. Looks kind of actually like it might rain. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, my bones feel it a little bit. Uh, when you get old, like I'm old. Uh, you can definitely feel when the bar uh, barometric pressures up a little bit with the rain and stuff you know it makes your muscles ache a little bit your hands I feel it in the tops of my hands because I had a motorcycle accident about uh, oh god when was it uh, 1980 I think it was where I went over the front of a car and in the process of going over the front of the car my hand, I held on the handlebars as long as I could, but when I came over the car, my body was way over the motorcycle, way over the hood, but I was still holding on to the handlebars. And it was an on road, off road motorcycle with these long mirror stalks, and they went across my, the tops of both my hands, and they did nerve damage. And I've still got nerve damage from it. But it's okay, I'm alive. You know, my hands work. They just like to say, hey, you're a dumbass. <laughs> and I am. I'm a dumbass. So you're looking at a dumbass. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. But anyway, let's do the workout. I got a knucklehead. How much is this knucklehead in the window? Let me see if you can see. See? And no, this knucklehead is not for sale. How much is that knucklehead in the window? <laughs> so I got to get down on the floor. Let's get this knocked out. I don't want to hold you here for a long time. I'm sorry about the, the video that went really long. I was just trying to explain some things, and it, it really did go long. Anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing? That's my little knucklehead. Look at your knucklehead. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to squeeze it. What are you doing? What are you looking at? Hmm? Hmm? What's that show? What are you doing? I'm going to get you. What are you doing, mess? Everybody should have a knucklehead. Yep. Whether it's a cat or a dog, because dogs can be knuckleheads too. <laughs> mess. The mess. I'm to make sure I get in the camera here. I might have to turn that camera a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing? I might also have to get off of the zoom some here. I think the zoom is up too far. <coughs> little monster here. What do you do, mess? Look at mess. As we love our little mess. <coughs> she gets up in the window and she looks at all the birdies. She says, I want to eat that one, and I want to eat that one, and I want to eat that one. Daddy, can I go out and eat that bird? I want to eat that bird. I'm going, no, honey, I can't let you out. I can't let you out, you little monster. I want to go out and I'm going to squeeze it, like I said. Yes, I am. Look at this mess. This is a mess. This is a mess, and nobody can tell me otherwise. I'm going to snip it. Snip it, tail. Look at it. Snip it, tail. Look. I love you too. It's 
my little special child. Yes, it is. I think my new special child won't get it. It won't get it. It's a wheel. Go squeeze it. It's a wheel. Ugh. All right. Let me go. I got I think this. Uh, I think I got the zoom on the camera too. It looks like I'm like right in the camera. Let me see what we got. Here's that. There we go. We're all the way back now. There it is. I don't want belly button vision. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, poopy? Look at poopy. Well, she's in a good mood today. She's not all fangs and claws. <laughs> she has them days. Some days she's like, you know what? I don't like you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, I get it. Some days I don't like me either. <laughs> but today's not one of them days. Uh, in the U.S. today is Memorial. <coughs> in the U.S. today is the day that I choke on my phlegm. Uh, but in today, today is Memorial Day. It's a day that we pay tribute to our veteran soldiers who paid the ultimate sacrifice for us. I got a piece of, that's what I put my foot on. I got a piece of glass in the floor. All right. Nice. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I stepped on that the other day. I'm like, what the hell was that? Wow. I don't know where the hell that came from. That's been broken. That's been there for a long time. Anyway, it's Veterans Day. And in every nation that you live in, your soldiers, men and women, are the reason you have any freedom. Because the only way you stay free is by force. I hate to say it. It's not a very kind world. And the world only respects force. So you can either be force for good or you can be force for evil. And we're seeing both in the world today. And unfortunately the guidance of that force is done a lot of times by people who are making money off of it and that's a real crime. So, But that's not what's about today. What's about today is the honor of our soldiers and their sacrifice for us. And we appreciate every one of them. God bless every one of our veterans. Um, <clears throat> my dad was a veteran, and it definitely affected his whole life. And he definitely paid a price for what he did. But uh, he was a good guy. He was all right. Anyway, let's get this. Let's get the workout done. Individual knee lifts, 20. Double knee lifts, 20. Individual straight leg lifts, 20.
Double straight leg lifts, 20. I am crunch twenty. <sighs> Sit ups twenty. Push-ups, 20. <laughs> All right, we're up on the floor. You know what that means? You're doing better than a lot of people. Because unfortunately a lot of people are in such bad shape they 
can't get up off the floor without help. It's not their fault. They worked a lot of years. A lot of years. They worked long days at jobs, came home, had a couple hours to eat a meal, hugged their wife or hugged their husband, put the kids in bed and die and get up the next day and do it again. And after 30 years of that, and 30 years of not working out, they're hurting. They're hurting bad. Please get physical therapy if you can't get up off the floor. And it's real simple. When was the last time you laid on the floor? <clears throat> Think about that because, you know, we go from our cars to our beds to our recliners to our couches and we never lay on the floor. You remember when we were kids we used to lay on the floor all the time. It was just natural. If you haven't laid on the floor in a long time and you ain't got up, you need to check that out. You need to look that in the face and do that. It's a simple part of being a human being, being able to sit on the floor and get back up. And I got to tell you, man, my knees sometimes, whoo, whoo. Another thing is, it matters what you eat. Now, I told you about the chili and I told you about the bread. But the bread was white bread because... I just wanted to take a break from my wheat bread. I wanted to make some real cheese sandwiches and nothing tastes better than a cheese sandwich on Italian white bread with a little butter skim on it and some American cheese in the middle of it all melted and crunchy and the outside is buttery and salty and delicious. So I had that. But so today my hands hurt a little bit, my knees hurt a little bit, my back hurts a little bit. Now is it the white bread I ate saying hi to me <laughs> is it the chili well the chili was pretty good I usually don't have a problem with the chili or is it this thunderstorm we have crawling over top of this house you know I could always blame the thunderstorm because like I said when you get old your bones ache and it's a real phenomenon you can already always tell when there's bad weather over top of you or when the temperature inverts and when it changes suddenly boy that'll make your hands right now my hands are stiff they're doing pretty good I'm actually feeling better than when I started this exercise program the the key factor in this exercise program is after I do the triad crunch and I start doing the sit-up because something about that change from the triad crunch to the sit-up Whatever back problems I'm having, suddenly the body starts sending endorphins down there to my back. And those muscles start releasing. And by the time I get to the push-ups, the push-ups are a pleasure because it's actually putting all the drugs everywhere it needs to go in my body. So right now I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing all right. So let's get on with the workout. Sorry for running my mouth today. I said it wasn't going to take... I wasn't going to hold you here that long, gosh darn it. All right, here we go. And I'm going, I'm, I'm going back to the 20, because 22, like I said before, it's not, I'm not doing this for a stunt. I'm not doing this to entertain you. I'm doing this because every day I got to do this. That's why the name is the No Damn Choice Workout, because I don't have no damn choice. Even if I won the lottery, I'd still be doing this exercise every 12 hours. And it kind of pisses me off, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just know. I'm like, you know, God puts in your head. He says, Phil, now if you don't want to be broken and in pain and going to a doctor's office and making doctors rich, this is what I got for you. This is, this is what I've given you. And if you want to do all those other things, you can ignore this. It's your choice. You have a choice. Yeah, so God's giving me a choice. I choose what God gave me. Oh, knuckleheads down here by my by my legs again. Anyway, so let's get to that. I'm sorry. Here I am talking too much. Here we go. Uh, uh, stomach tension is 20.
All right. Low and slow hip thrust. Now, like I said, put your knees a little bit apart. When you put your butt down, push your butt back, and then push it up. And what you're trying to do is work the lower back. And if you do this right, man, you can feel it all the way down to you, right down to your butt crack. That's when you know, wow, I didn't know that muscle, those muscles were not getting worked. I thought when I when I walk, those would get worked, but they don't. So, and that's where you wind up with these back spasms that draw you double, and you start taking aspirins and put ointments on your back, and then you wind up going to the doctor. Isn't this? I don't want to go to the doctor. <laughs> okay, here we go. 20 hip thrusts, low, slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two. I got it, I got there. Ooh. Next is uh, squats. Please watch out for your knees. Be careful with squats. They're a dangerous exercise. No matter where you do them. Don't do squats with levity. They're a very serious exercise. You can really hurt yourself. Twenty squats. Alright, squats are done. Now we're heading into home stretch. Thank you, Lord. Alright. Here's where them sore hands get a workout. This is one of the reasons I started the wrist curls. Is my hands throb at times. They go boom, 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 boom. From nerve damage and just use you're gonna have sore parts of your body and you just gotta accept it, you gotta get used to it you know and if I was to say one thing about soreness in your body look at what the hell you're eating you gotta eat food that does not excite inflammation in your body and unfortunately that white bread woo doggy that's like a forest fire to your body so anyway it was good though I'm not going to lie, them cheese sandwiches, them natural, wonderful cheese sandwiches were crispy and delicious and salty and cheesy. Yeah, baby. But I'm paying a price for them, so here we go. Ah, uh, 20 wrist curls. Alright, inside curls. You could call them armpit curls because that's what they're supposed to be. I noticed in some of my other videos I haven't been pulling them up to my armpits. They're armpit curls. Okay. Standard curls, 20. Alright, double straight ups, 20.
Individual standard curls, 20. Oh, wait a minute. 21, 22. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Individual straight ups, 20. Slim biscuit for breakfast. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Flying curls, 20. Okay, that is a no damn choice workout. I do two more exercises, which are 10 standard curls and 10 double straight ups with 20 pound weights in each hand. And today I'm going to do 10 because I'm pretty sore. And it's about, it's not about pain, it's about stopping pain. Um, I might do. 10 more exercises later off camera but that's up to me between me and the weights but for right now I just want to do 10 and 10 That's it. That's it. Thank you, Lord in heaven, for being in my life and giving me the strength to do this. And giving me the urge to do this early in the morning and getting it out the way. Thank you, Lord, for being in my life. Please always be in my life. I love you and I miss you, Wanda. I'm going to write this down in my book. I'm going to say my prayers. Which for me is Psalm 143, but all the Psalms are good. Look at this little knuckle hit here. Whoops. That didn't go well. <laughs> I turned the camera off. Derp. There's knucklehead. Looking out the window, looking at birdies to eat. Anyway, like I was saying before I turned the camera off, um, please find an exercise program that works for you. Please do it every day. Please don't drink Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi because the aspartame in them is poison. Please, the energy drinks today are buried in sucralose 
Splendid sucralose is as bad as aspartame and it will kill you. Please don't consume that. Look in your ingredients list and uh, if you see aspartame or Splenda sucralose in the product, please, please, please don't, uh, don't buy it. Um, that stuff is very bad and I wish it wasn't in the food system but it's making the food companies billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars a year. It's making the doctors hundreds of billion dollars a year and the HMOs hundreds of billions of dollars a year because what happens is for example in sucralose, sucralose attacks the stomach and the lower intestines as it attacks the brain and it creates uh, IBS which is irritable bowel syndrome plus other myriad problems all the way down the intestines. The people don't know what's causing it and they're drinking their energy drinks and they're eating their candies and their foods that have sucralose in it and they just they're addicted they can't stop. So the doctors don't ask them are you are you consuming anything with sucralose in it? They don't ask them that at all they never do. They don't even talk to you about what you're eating. Instead they go, here's this powerful medication I can give you which attacks your insides. So now you have not only the sucralose that's attacking your insides, you have this powerful medication that's attacking your insides. And it's all in the, in the, in the illusion of helping you when it's actually in the fact of making the companies that produce all these products hundreds of billions of dollars a year. So please don't volunteer for that. If you look in your ingredients list, and I really encourage you to look at your ingredients list. If you're buying a product, and you turn the product around, and it looks like it came out of a chemist lab. There are so many ingredients in it that you look at it and you go, what the blank is that? <laughs> Put it back on the shelf. The human body was never meant to consume <laughs> shit that makes freaking antifreeze. <laughs> anyway, on this blessed Memorial Day weekend, please have a wonderful day. If you do happen to be blessed enough to run into a veteran, please thank them for their service in protecting your freedoms. Um, please have a wonderful day. God bless you, and thanks for watching the video. And we will see you all next time. And uh, really, it's uh, it is Sunday, May, May, May. I can't even read it. Let me get my eyes back on. Sorry. It is Sunday, May twenty eighth. Twenty. I want to make sure I get that right because I've been getting the, <laughs> the dates all wrong. The day, the date. I'm getting it all wrong. <laughs> Sunday, May twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. The bill is paid. Thank you, Lord in heaven. I do appreciate it. It is. Only it is 6:45. Hey, look! Somebody came out to say, "Have a great day, too." What are you doing? You were in the window. What are you doing? You are not allowed to come over here. If you come over here, I'm going to squeeze you, and it's going to be the end of it. I'm just telling you. Don't come over here. Don't you dare. If you come, if you better just do what I tell you. Do what I tell you. Don't you come over here. If you come over here. Typical. <laughs> She's like, I do what I want. If I want to rub on your shoes, I rub on your shoes. If I want to stick my claws in your arm, I'll stick my claws in your arm. If I want to bite your hand, I'll bite your hand. There's not anything you're going to do about it. And there ain't. Oh, go get it. Squeeze it. I'm going to squeeze it. A mess. It's a mess. I see the mess. Yep. So please have a blessed day and uh, spread a little joy around. What the hell, like I always say, if you if you ain't pissing somebody off, you ain't living your life right. <laughs> so expect to piss somebody off, but give them a good word when they're pissed off, you know. Tell them you're happy to see them. Say, look, you know what? I know you're upset and... I don't mean to make you upset, but I'm not going to apologize for living. <laughs> God put me here to piss you off, is all I can tell you. <laughs> so let's be pissed off together, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, little mess. Little mess. 
a little fuzzball. All right. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you. And we will see you all on the next video. This little knucklehead here. She is a mess. <laughs> Peace, everybody.